Hello everybody, welcome back to the Time Machine Workshop. Look how crowded it's getting in here guys. Okay, we got the we got the turret, I mean the hot tub laid up for the back of the time machine. Let's see it's gonna go right back there. That phone is gonna go upside down. We're gonna fill it with water. That's where the hot chicks are gonna hang out. <laughs> no, no, that ain't a hot tub. It's a turret. That's where that big old Bobo blaster is going to stick. <laughs> no, it's the top of the time machine. We're jamming away. This is our first part, everybody. We actually got a part laid up. We made these halves yesterday. There, that top mold right there. Okay and uh, we molded this up just like we did the back half back there see the back part that's all molded both sides are done and we had to put uh, we laid these up yesterday and this morning we didn't actually glue them together okay see this tape Instead of seam taping them together, what that's going to do is make a flange. There's about 10 layers, 10 outs right there on that flange. Because, so that could be screwed together. So these are actually still two parts. When we take it out of the mold, they'll be two separate parts. And then it'll have this nice flanged edge. See what it is, we laid this one up and we laid this one up. We trimmed the edges. And this side's got tape on it and some wax. Okay, and this side don't. So we laid our glass on top of it, and then when they come apart, they'll still be in two pieces. See? There's our tape. Then we got the blast away panels. You know, you know, we need them. And remember our handles for climbing on top of the time machine I was telling you about? They fit in their molds perfectly. I actually tried to make you guys a video the other day and uh, something happened, I don't know, I turned the camera off too soon before it got finished and <laughs> it wouldn't let me load it. But there were doors, uh, blast away panels, you know, when our chronic fluxation of the neutron going through the ionic sphere into the flux capacitor if it don't pass through the ionization process right we all know what could happen so we're gonna <laughs> but, but no there were doors there were some molded doors into the side of there and we pull all this up clean it up i'll show you guys it'll look really good i know it looks kind of sloppy on the inside now but you just wait we're not done yet but I'm still down here in Texas y'all and uh, I'm gonna get home ASAP and as soon as we got a few more parts to lay but, uh, today's Sunday we're gonna mold this big old door thing here tomorrow on both sides and there's a panel back there we're gonna mold up and uh, then we gotta mold up the nose but we got to get this mold so after we pull this part out we're done with this mold absolutely done with it will never be used again so we're going to chuck it out in the backyard that's why we didn't trim it up it's, it's not real thick it just don't have to be we just got to pull one part out of it and then uh we got to do the nose that whole nose will actually up there it's one piece but we're going to mold it up as two Kind of like this is, we're going to put a part and plane down the middle. Then we could join the two molds, lay it up all in one piece, and then not have to deal with such a big mold. We can unbolt it. And because, uh, man, we're lacking room in here, guys. <laughs> These big old parts got this place filled up. But we're, we're jamming. And guys, I ain't give up on you. We're going to start the next season of Bob TV as soon as this project's done. So we'll see you back in the Time Machine Workshop.